For news you can use, actually, we're going to talk about something that is useful, but is not news per se. And it's something that uh, we've recently lectured about on a bunch of these calls, building rapport with the uh, sellers that you're talking to on the phone. And uh, we've got a little video that we used in our foreclosure clinic uh, a couple of nights back. And it's a, it's a pretty good little video short, but it uh, for those of you who've got something to write on and write with, I would suggest you take a few notes. Uh, we may post the video later on in the in the apprentice group and the pipeline group uh, Facebook group so you guys can take a look at it but uh, actually if you're ready let's go ahead and fire up that video and talk to everybody a little bit about rapport building you got it When selling over the phone, the first and most important to master is building rapport. Once you have rapport, your conversation is more relaxed, your prospect is more comfortable, they trust you more, and they are more open to your suggestions and recommendations. So what are the key steps to rapport building on the telephone? These are my top 10. Get the prospect's name and use it. When you demonstrate to the person on the end of the line that you care enough to remember their name, you get their attention. Maintain positive body language. Even though your prospect can't see you, your body language is very important on the phone. Your tone is affected by your posture and your mood. So your prospect will notice the change in your voice when you sit upright or even stand and when you smile broadly. Listen intently and actively. As you listen to everything your prospect says, take notes and repeat back when you can what they've said to you. Active listening demonstrates to your prospect that you care about what they're saying. Ask open-ended questions. When you talk, resist the temptation to tell the prospect all about yourself. Instead, give them the opportunity to enter the conversation by asking open-ended questions. Questions that start with how, when, who and why, they require more than a simple yes or no response and they enable you to build a two-way conversation. Position yourself as an authority. Explain who you are and how you have the ability to solve your prospect's problems. This means knowing your product, your service and your industry well. It also means demonstrating this knowledge to your prospect. Project your voice. If your prospect can't hear you properly, they won't listen to the content of your message. So sit up, breathe deeply, and articulate clearly and confidently. Focus on the positive. Be solution-oriented. This positive attitude is infectious, and it helps lead your prospect in the direction of working with you. Show empathy, not sympathy. Use phrases like, I understand where you're coming from. I see what you mean. Showing genuine empathy helps you to gain your prospect's trust and leads them towards accepting your solution to their problem. Articulate the purpose of your call. Always know beforehand and communicate clearly and professionally the desired outcome of your conversation. Your prospect is much more likely to become annoyed if after a minute and a half they still don't know why you've called. Mirror match, pace and lead. If your prospect speaks slowly and concisely, it's a good idea to slow your speech pattern as well. If your prospect speaks loudly and quickly, try to keep up with them. You can even repeat some of your prospect's words. For example, if they describe an experience as outstanding, you can consider using the word outstanding later in the conversation. People buy from people they like and trust. Your main objective in building rapport on the phone is to generate trust in an environment in which there are no visual cues to help either party. Throughout your call, be present, patient and respectful. If you can build rapport and generate a high level of trust in a single phone call, you've progressed with the prospect along the sales cycle. At FMG in Australia and Air Marketing in the UK, we have a team of conversation experts. If you would like to know how we could help you, please give us a call. All righty. Thank you, Ashley. Um, all right. So let's talk a little bit about rapport building before we get going. Um, the, in this business, it's all about your ability to make a bond, a connection, friendship, if, if you will, 
um, with your sellers. Uh, sellers, and we've talked about this in the past, but it's always good to go over it again. Sellers do business with people they want to do business with. You may not have the best price. Uh, you may not have the worst price uh, for the seller. But at the end of the day, if you are uh, more respected, have built a better rapport with the seller, you're going to be the one that the seller ends up doing business with. And that's really what it's about in this business is your ability to uh, build this rapport, develop this bridge, build this relationship over the phone. And, and those were some really good uh, techniques and, and ideas. Um, some of the things I want to make sure we emphasize, always ask your seller, you know, do you want to be called, you know, Joe or Mr. Jones uh, when they tell you their name? How do you prefer to be referred to? Make sure you use whatever they tell you again and again. Okay, Joe. So what about this? Or Joe, tell me about that and, and that type of thing. Make sure you use that name again and again. Make sure you, when you're on a phone call with a seller, make sure you're using your, your mouth and your ears in proportion to the number that you have. In other words, you have twice as many ears and you're going to want to listen twice as much as you talk. So that's very important. You have to be kind of an active listener. You have to listen to what they're saying, ask a lot of questions. You've got to get to the pain. You've got to find out what's going on in the seller's life that's making them a motivated seller. Typically, as we've talked in the past, it's one of uh, a handful of things, death, divorce, taxes, bankruptcy, job loss, medical issues, having to move, family issues. Those are the, the primary reasons. And you're going to be listening for one of those or something similar to that in order to identify uh, what's motivating the seller. You don't have to be an expert on your on what you're selling. You don't have to be an expert in this business. Uh, time and time again, and I've been doing this thing for over 20 years, I have seen and been able to prove to people that those who are better at building rapport, in other words, people who are better with people, um, do better in this business. And it is being sympathetic, empathetic, that type thing. It's not... Um, the one who's the smartest, it's not the one who threatens, it's you're not going to win any battles by blackmailing people. Um, you, you just got to be really good at, at uh, active listening, talking to people, hearing what they have to say. And uh, you always get a couple of different shots, bites at the apple down the road. So you don't even have to have enough knowledge to complete a complete, complete a whole call. You just need to have enough um, to at least be sympathetic, empathetic to, to folks. Um, and, and they'll recognize this. You know, people, uh, human nature is such that the more you are good at listening to people, uh, the more you're trusted. And it's a, it's a really unique uh, way to, to look at uh, human interactions. But truly, uh, if you have a good ear, and you're viewed as you know an, an active listener. You're listening to the person's problem. You're, you're giving feedback and that type of thing. Uh, but you know people who are listened to tend to trust the person who's doing the listening. So it's really that simple. A lot of us try and overcomplicate it. They think we've got to have some fancy pitch or have the exact right phrase and things to say. But truly, that is not as as important as building a good rapport with a person. So that's my soapbox uh, pitch for tonight. I just want to make sure you guys all focus on that. And that will, in turn, make you successful in this business. So 